I have been covering Amazon Bedrock for the last various months on the channel and I already have shown you how you can access a lot of these models including Llamas, um, Titan models from Amazon, Anthropics, Cloud models and a lot of other models just through an API. And that is the advantage of this Amazon Bedrock that it enables you to access these models just with an API call from your code locally or wherever you are running that code. Amazon Bedrock is just a managed service which enables you to just don't worry about any GPUs, any hardware, any software. All you need is an API endpoint and through which you can call these LLMs. You can do text based tasks, image editing, image manipulation and vision tasks with the Amazon Bedrock. In this video, I am going to show you yet another model which has been recently included into Amazon Bedrock's fold and that is Anthropics Cloud Opus. I already have shown you how you can use um, Anthropic Cloud 3's Heiko and Sonnet from your code. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can go with this new model which has been included in this Amazon. I already have covered Opus uh, in few of my videos. If you're interested, you can search through it. Just to give you an idea about these Anthropic Cloud 3 family of models, there are three models in it. Opus, Sonnet and Heiko. Cloud3 Opus is their most intelligent model with best in the market performance on highly complex tasks. It can navigate open-ended prompts and cite unseen scenarios with remarkable fluency and human-like understanding. Opus shows us the outer limits of what's possible with Gen AI. Now the context window of Opus is 200k and it has higher intelligence than any other model available from Anthropic. Then we have Sonnet. Sonnet strikes a balance between intelligence and speed, particularly for enterprise workloads. It delivers strong performance at a lower cost compared to its peers and is engineered for high endurance in large scale AI deployments. Its context window is also 200k. And then we have Haiku and it is the fastest fastest, smallest and most compact model for near instant responsiveness. It answers simple queries and requests with unmatched speed. Users will be able to build seamless AI experiences that mimic human interactions. Its context window is also 200k. Now, for this video, I'm going to show you a code as how you can use it from the uh, API call and on your screen you can see the benchmarks of these Anthropic model from their website. Okay, now before I show you, let me take you to my AWS console and from there we'll go to the Bedrock service and we will first activate this Cloud3 Opus model. So let me log into my personal AWS account. So this is my AWS account and you can see that I am already logged into Amazon Bedrock. So on the left, just click on base models and then or maybe on the left hand side, you can go to the model access here in the blue. And then on the right hand side, if you scroll down, you will see there are a few models which I already have access like Sonnet. And then for the Opus one, which we are covering today, you just need to request the access first. And this can be used for both text and vision. So in order to get the access, just click on this manage model access. And from there, you can simply um, select this opus and then scroll down and then just click on save changes and it is going to request access. That sometimes takes a bit of a time, so you just need to wait and keep refreshing. Sometimes it comes back in seconds, sometimes in minutes, depends. You can see that right now it is in progress. So let's wait for it to give me access and then we will proceed further. So after waiting for a minute, you can see that now I have access to this Cloud3 Opus and you won't be charged for anything by the way for it as long as you don't use the API. The charges are only for the API call. Okay, now once that's done on the left hand side, click on base models. When you click on base models, you will be taken to this screen. From here, click on Anthropic. Scroll down, you will see that there is this Cloud3 uh, Cloud Opus, Sonnet, Haiku, and few other older ones. Just select Cloud3 Opus, scroll down, 
and this is a model this is a model id which we need for our code so make sure you grab it now let me take you to my code um, in vs code locally from where we will be accessing it if you want you can even uh, go to the playground on the left hand side and chat with this model so for example once you click on this chat in the playground or text or image or whatever then select the model and drop it and from here you can simply select the opus one and then chat with it but instead of doing it here i'm just going to take you to my local system and we'll do it through api so this is the code which i will be using now before you started make sure that you have aws sdk boto 3 installed and make sure you also uh, have all the python and pip installed there and all are up to date and if you already have boto 3 installed make sure that you update it now once that's done you can see that first i'm importing boto 3 and json and then i'm uh, selecting service name as bedrock runtime and opus is still not available in um, Sydney or even in North Virginia region. So I guess you would have, I think US East one, it is available. If not, then I'll change it to Oregon. Anyway, so I have specified my Opus model ID and then I'm simply sending it a prompt that explain the con concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotion. And then from there, I'm just dumping it in JSON in a typical chat prompt template. I am sending it to model, getting the output and displaying it. So let me run this code. I had to update the region name here, US West 2, because that is the Oregon region where it is available and the script is running. Let's wait for it to return me the response. There you go. So I had asked is explain the concept of happiness to an entity that cannot feel emotions. Use analogies and metaphors to convey your explanation. So let me scroll up. There you go. So it has it is also telling me how many tokens that there are 400 tokens output is here. And it is telling me imagine a complex machine like a computer that is designed to perform a specific set of tasks when the computer is running smoothly with all its components functioning optimally and its program executing without errors. We could say that the computer is in a state of happiness. Okay. And then it is giving me another metaphor like garden filled with various plants. When the plant receives the right amount of sunlight, water, and nutrients they grow strong and healthy producing vibrant flowers or beautiful bountiful fruits how good is that you see that the response is simply amazing and opus is you know another league it's a very very good powerful model so if you are an enterprise looking for the most powerful model which is in the league of i would say gpt4 not i mean there's a very slight difference gpt4 is still better but opus is not far far behind if you're looking for such a model, private local through an API call locally within your AWS environment, I think Opus is a very good choice. Now, if you want to use vision capabilities of this Opus model, then this is the code you would need. And again, I am instantiating my Bedrock Runtime client, specifying the model ID here on line number eight. And then uh, there are a few prompts which I'm using. And this is the image which is on my local system i have given it and then i'm just asking it what is the location of this image converting it or encoding it to base 64. this is prompt template and i'm just printing the response back there you go now let me show you the image too this is i made this is a sydney opera house in the beautiful sydney where i am based so i'm just asking the model where is this where is what's the location in this image and there you go you can see that it has returned with the response that the location shown in this image is sydney australia the iconic sydney opera house is prominently featured in the foreground surrounded by the skyline of the city it has even shown with the skyline including numerous high-rise buildings and skyscrapers the harbor setting and blue sky blue skies are also characteristic of sydney it has also given me some couple of characteristics there amazing stuff that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will also put the code in my blog and put the link in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching